first of all, just ignore the mess behind me. It's really bad. It's just who I am as a person. I can't really do anything about it. So yeah. Um, anyways, hi, I'm Laura. For those of you that do not know, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today I'm doing a reading vlog slash like a normal day vlog. It's only going to be one day. I just feel like when it comes to reading vlogs, I have absolutely no commitment and I'll start like a clip for day one of my new reading vlog that I'm going to finally do. And then I never film the rest of the week and I just have this, this one clip and it's like, oh cool, like good job Laura with your reading vlog. So I decided to do another like one day reading vlog. Today I'm planning on going to the bookstore because Abby Glein's new book comes out. So I'll probably end up going and getting it and then reading it so I can talk about that. Um, I also want to start out the vlog with talking about a book that I recently finished. Um, I might have an unboxing today, so it's just going to be kind of like a normal vlog, but a reading vlog and a book shopping vlog and whatever. So yeah, you guys are just going to have to let me know if you like this style of video or like what your preference is. But anywho, I'm going to start off with this book here, which is A Bad Boy Stole My Bra by Lauren Price. This book was recommended to me by so many of you guys. Originally it was on Wattpad, just recently got published into a physical book. I believe, sorry there's like a hair in my gloss. This was published I think in the UK because I think it's the same publisher um, that Estelle Mascom has who writes Did I Mention I Love You. So I bought this on Book Depository because it's not available in America yet and I read it. I think I gave it like three and a half out of five stars. So I did enjoy it. I thought it was super fast paced and it was a fun read. Um, it's about this girl who gets a new neighbor and he's like a super hot bad boy like ooh like crazy right and um she's just chilling in her room one night and he comes in through the window while she's asleep and literally steals her bra like literally he steals her bra and she's like what the hell um and from that point forward she kind of develops this friendship with him and his friends and then she kind of like gets this new group of friends and it's like so fun and I think it's like her senior year or her junior year of high school I don't even know she's 16 so maybe her junior year of high school um, but there's also like this thing going on in the book about something from her past and you don't know what it is and it's like crazy. For me this book was okay. I almost feel as though like an actual high schooler or maybe even like a 14 year old, which I guess 14 year olds are in high school. I feel like somebody of that age would enjoy this book a lot more than I did. Sometimes I feel like books are written more for teens than about teens. The teenagers in this book felt kind of childish to me and I was like this doesn't feel like an accurate representation of high school um, and I think that kind of has to do with the fact that the author of the book is actually very young. She's 19 I believe. It was just a little bit too childish for me. The main girl character was totally one of those characters that's like I'm not like other girls because I don't like go to parties and like I just sit and do nothing like she just I hate that trope so much so that really annoyed me as well but overall it was a fun book and I was able to read it super super fast but I just it's not my favorite if you want to read it check it out but it was fun it was fun so yeah that's what I've recently read I tried to start another book recently and it just didn't stick for me I read like 70 pages of it so that's why today I'm hoping the Abby Glines book I will be able to read hopefully just today because her books are usually super easy to fly through it is the fourth installment of her field party series so I'm super excited about that so right now it's 11:30. Um, I've had sort of a slow start to my morning. I had to go pick up my car because it was in the shop and I got ready. So I think I'm going to head to Barnes & Noble and go to Starbucks and do all that stuff first. So I'll take you along with me. Okay, I just got to Starbucks slash Barnes & Noble. Uh, there's cars all around me with people in them, so I'm going to make this uh, snappy. But I'm just going to go inside, explore some books, get something from Starbucks. Um, we'll see if I log anything in there, but I'll let you know. searching. Kanji love. The movie cover is actually really cute. 
Wait, where's the zombie blind spot? Does anyone else literally hate asking for help even when you can't find something? Like, it says the book is available online at this store, but I don't see it anywhere. I guess I'll just keep looking. Maybe I'll ask. I don't know. This is annoying me. It's like nowhere to be found. So I'm not crazy, and the worker is getting it from me in the back, because apparently it just came in today. It's not even on the shelves yet, so at least it's here. She's uh, getting it from me right now, so sometimes you gotta ask, even if you don't want to. I got it. She kind of got me a janky version of it, but you know, we'll deal. We'll deal. So I got that. I'm still kind of looking around. I kind of wanted to get autobiography, so yeah, maybe I'll get that too. Yeah, just still looking. Okay, this might be the weirdest angle of my life, but I just got my my Starbucks. For those of you asking, I always get a strawberry acai lemonade refresher. Um, this is a Trenta. It's like the biggest size you can get. It's so good. Like, it's just kind of glorified strawberry lemonade for $6, but like, tell me why I can't stop buying it. I don't know. So from Barnes & Noble, I did end up getting Autobiography by Christina Lauren, who I've read from before. Christina Lauren, if you don't know, is actually two um, girls that write books together, and I've read their new adult books. They have like the Beautiful Bastard series. So I've read that, but this looked really, really good. So I'm definitely gonna read that one. And then of course, the reason I went to Barnes & Noble, I got Losing the Field by Abby Glines. So yeah, it wasn't even on display yet. She said they had gotten the shipment in that day and nobody had put it out yet. So she had to go in the back to get this for me. So that was very nice of her. I'm very happy. Obviously I was saying it's a little bit kind of like a tear and you know it's fine though it's fine we'll we'll deal and then um i actually got one more thing from the store which is kind of unlike me to get something that's not a book from barnes and noble but the reason i got this and it's a pop funko which i don't even collect pop funkos but i've wanted this one for the longest time sorry this angle is really starting to get to me um i've wanted this one for the longest time and i never see it anywhere so the fact that i saw it there today kind of felt like a sign and that is the Steve, Steve with glasses, Stranger Things, Pop Funko. Um, I've wanted this forever and now I have it. So I'm gonna bring this to college. Maybe I'll put it on my bookshelf or something. Um, if you guys don't know, Steve is like my favorite character from Stranger Things. And the funny thing is at my last college where I just graduated from my junior college, um, one of my professors who was also my academic advisor was actually, um, Joe Keery's mom <laughs> who plays Steve in Stranger Things if you don't know so that was like the weirdest thing ever but yeah she's super cool great woman gave me an A so we stand um but yeah so I just love Steve anyway and I'm really excited to finally have that so didn't really need to buy that today but I did but yeah I don't really think I need to do anything else out and about so I'm probably just gonna head home perhaps make some lunch what time is it like 12 30 or something I don't even know so maybe make lunch maybe start the book I don't know so I'll let you guys know what I end up doing when I'm doing it. I'm a great vlogger, like, come on, thumbs up. Abby Glines, I love you, but what is this name? What are any of the names that you use in your books? Tallulah? Little? Tallulah? Like, what? Also, let me know, do you guys take your dust jackets off if you're going to read a book? Girl, I always take them off. I don't know why. It's just kind of like something I do. Let me know. So I guess I'm going to start the book now. Um, I'm not 100% sure what it is about. I just read the little inside flap cover thing that kind of explains what the book is about. And I'm a little nervous because it sounds so much like that TV show Insatiable, which obviously had a ton of backlash. The book is about this girl who is overweight and then she loses a bunch of weight and then is suddenly getting attention, I guess. This seems a little bit less problematic than Insatiable though, even though I've heard some people say Insatiable is actually really good, but I've heard the majority of people say it's really bad, so I don't know. Um, but this book, I believe, is actually inspired by one of Abby's daughters, so I think that's pretty interesting. Um, nonetheless, I'm really excited to read it because I really do enjoy 
the field party series as a whole so I guess we'll see how it goes you guys know sometimes Abby's books are like a huge miss for me if you haven't seen my latest video books that I hate the sequel um, I mentioned some of her books in that so definitely check that out if you haven't watched it yet I'll have it linked down below but um other than that yeah I don't know I guess we're just gonna have to read it and see so I'll let you guys know obviously hopefully I'll just finish it today because I can't see why I wouldn't so Looks like our girl Tallulah is a book blogger. I stan. Um, honestly, I don't know if I'm saying her name right. Tallulah. I don't know. Abby Glines had a book that I read a few weeks ago, and the main character's name was Beulah, and now we got Tallu Tallulah. <laughs> I literally can't. But she's a book blogger, apparently. That's kind of cool. We stan. I, like, genuinely can't bring myself to make lunch right now. So I just have, like, a cut up, oh, my bad, nectarine. And then this is a muffin that I made yesterday. They're like vegan chocolate chip or chocolate mm -hmm. chunk, I guess, considering I use chocolate chunks. Uh, muffin, super easy to make. They're really, really good. So I'm just gonna eat those. So far, okay, sorry if you can hear that in the background. Somebody's mowing the lawn. Um, so far, I'm actually really enjoying the book. I feel like Abby Glein's writing is just like so easy, breezy, beautiful. Cover girl. I don't know. I like reading her books. So, anywho. I'm just gonna eat this and then keep reading because it's really good so far. And uh, yeah. Angel, come here. Oh, hello. Hi. You're so good. So I'm back in my room. I've read to page 200 of the book so far. I'm on chapter 31 and it's actually pretty good. Like I'm actually enjoying it. I was a little bit nervous about like the whole weight loss thing and how Abby would kind of portray that, but I think she's done a really good job with it. Um, I know that Abby Glines was overweight herself and lost a ton of weight um, by walking and being healthier and stuff like that and that's kind of shown through this character as well So maybe it's also like a connection of her past experiences along with her daughters I'm not really sure but I think she's handled it in like a pretty good way. That's not offensive or like worrisome um, In regards to the relationship and stuff like that like oh he only likes her because she lost weight But it's really not like that. So I think it's pretty good so far I think I'm gonna take a little break from reading right now, but I'm definitely going to be finishing it tonight because it's super fast paced and easy to read. So that's really cool. But I wanted to take a quick second to talk to you guys about this subscription box that was sent to me. This is a Bubbles and Books subscription box, which is like a romance based box that sends you like some relaxing, like fun stuff um, along with a romance book. They sent me this box so long ago and I just haven't gotten around to making a video for it. So I figured throwing it in the vlog could be kind of fun. So let me know if you guys like that because I know that straight on like subscription unboxings aren't everybody's favorite. Some of you guys may know I used to be an affiliate for Page Habit but I recently stopped doing that because I just didn't like doing the videos for it anymore if I'm being completely honest. Doing subscription unboxings is super fun and it's really exciting that companies want to work with you and stuff like that. You guys know I used to work with Owlcrate and a bunch of different people but I just feel as though my channel now I'm doing some more creative type things. I'm trying to kind of create more original content. People talk about booktube autopilot and how people will just kind of make a wrap up, make a haul, make a subscription unboxing. And it's like, I was so sick of doing that. I was doing it for so long and I don't want to do that anymore. But I thought this subscription seemed wonderful and very much my taste. So that's why I accepted it. I'm so sorry that I haven't posted this sooner because I really should have. Um, but this is the box. If you like the box, once I show you what's inside here, you can get 20% off by using code LOVELY20, I believe. I'll leave the link down below. This isn't sponsored or anything. I don't get money from telling you that. They just told me they would give you guys a coupon. So here's the little, little pamphlet thingy that comes in the top. It's wrapped up in some nice pink paper. So I'm going to share with you guys. Oh, look. Lots of fun goodies. So let's see. First off, we have this. Let's see. I think it's a bookmark. This probably tells you what's in here, yeah? Yeah, okay. So this is a bookmark, I believe. I'm going to open it. Oh, this is so cool. It's like a metal bookmark with like a tassel. So this goes into the book and this hangs out. That's really cute. I love that. 
Uh, the next thing I see in here is a bath bomb. I love getting bath bombs in subscription boxes. I'm so happy that's a thing. Uh, it is the Petal Dance Premium Bath Bomb. That's what it looks like. It's pink. I'm assuming it just kind of smells like roses. Yeah, it says it has real rose petals in it. Um, along with that, they sent, this is kind of cool, it's a package of petals along with a little stopper. So you can put these in your bathtub, put this on the thing so they don't go into the drain, and then you use your bath bomb. I like how they're almost creating like an experience for you in comparison to just like getting a bunch of different knickknacks in a box. I think that's really cool. Um, it also came with this Jamaica Me Crazy hand soap. Oh, this smells good. It's just like a block of soap. Oh, look how pretty it is. It smells really good. So that's cool. It looks like it's made with a lot of like natural ingredients and stuff like that. So I'm a big fan of that. So very nice. Oh no, the book's kind of bent, but I'm sure I can fix it by putting it under some other books. But it is called Everywhere and Every Way by Jennifer Probst. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this is what it looks like. I have never heard of this book, but I'm excited to find out more about it and check it out. Super exciting. So thank you so much again to Bubbles and Books for sending me this box. And again, if you think this box is a cool idea, getting a romance book and then getting some fun little things to go with your reading experience for it, um, definitely check out their website down below. And again, get 20% off your first box using code LOVELY20. So yeah, super fun stuff. So I'm glad I was able to share that with you guys. Um, other than that, right now, it is about four o'clock so I'm probably going to go to the grocery store because I want to buy some things to make dinner tonight I'm not 100% sure yet what I'm making but I just need to go to the store anyways um, but other than that I'll probably just be reading more of my book and if I'm doing anything else fun I will for sure let you guys know in case anyone was wondering what I made these are like vegan chicken nuggets they're the chickenless nuggets from whole foods they're super good um this is broccoli with like a maple soy sauce type thing that i made for it on top this is green beans and asparagus sauteed with just like vegan butter and salt and pepper and then these are like attempted rosemary smashed potatoes they kind of came out falling apart a bit i would have liked them to stay together a bit more but i mean i'm sure it still tastes good so that's what i'm having for dinner i'm super hungry so i'm just gonna dig in so i just finished eating it's about six o'clock now and i'm back upstairs and i'm gonna keep reading losing the field i'm really enjoying the book and i'm excited to finish it and let you guys know my full thoughts on it so probably gonna read it don't know if i'll finish it just this second but definitely gonna continue on reading some more of that and i will let you guys know how that goes so i finished the book Angel. I finished the book. Um, I'm gonna say I give it probably four out of five stars. I mean, I think I've given the rest of the series four out of five stars, so I feel like that seems right. I did actually really end up enjoying the story. There was like a huge plot twist thrown in there that I did not see coming, so that kind of got the story going a little bit more for me as well. Something that I thought was worth mentioning was that Abby included a character in this book that's a vlogger, which is actually kind of cool. I mentioned earlier that the main character, Tallulah, Tallulah? I still don't even know her name. Um, is a blogger but there's another character that gets introduced who is a vlogger and he's like new to the school so I thought that was kind of interesting but overall I did really enjoy the two main characters Nash and Tallulah and I enjoyed the relationship that was formed throughout the book um there was a few storylines that weren't my absolute favorite but it still was pretty fast moving and I did enjoy the book overall obviously I managed to read it in one day so I think that says enough about the book but overall, I really recommend it. It's definitely not my favorite in the uh, the series. Probably my third favorite. Uh, my first probably being Until Friday Night, which is the first one. Um, and then the third book, the this book, and then the second book. That's probably my order. Um, but I did like it. And if you're a fan of Abby Glines and the series, you'll definitely enjoy it as well, I think. So yeah, I'm really happy that I got to read that today. Other than that, it's now just 6.30. I literally just sat here and read the book. I didn't think I would finish it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll pick up another book. Maybe I'll start organizing the books that I'm going to take to school. I literally leave for school in a week and I have nothing done. So <laughs> just pretending that's not happening and just like sitting in my bed reading. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do next, but I'll definitely wrap up the vlog a little bit later and let you guys know what I've been up to. So yeah, Angel, anything to say to the vlog? Oh, hi. She's so good. Okay, bye.
So it's a little bit later and I just kind of want to chill out. The Parent Trap is on so I kind of want to watch that and I kind of want to start editing the vlog from today. So I think I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video and if you did enjoy it definitely let me know because it was super fun today to have you guys follow me around a little bit, do a bit of a reading vlog but sort of a real vlog. I don't really know what to call it. But I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. If you did, make sure to let me know in a comment down below or tell me on Twitter or Instagram or anything like that. Those are all linked down below. They're at lovely like Laura. But other than that, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. And I will see you very, very soon for a new video. Bye!